Guy Williams was tragically and strangely taken from his life. Guy Williams was born Armando Joseph Catalano on January 14, 1924, in New York City, was an American actor best known for his roles as the swashbuckling hero Zorro in the Disney television series and as Professor John Robinson in the iconic science fiction series Lost in Space. A man of striking good looks, standing six feet three inches tall with a chiseled face and a charming presence, Williams became a beloved figure on the small screen capturing the imaginations of millions with his portrayals of dashing heroes who embodied courage, integrity, and charisma. His life and career were a blend of talent, perseverance, and a bit of luck, making him a notable figure in television history. Guy Williams was born into an Italian-American family in the heart of New York City. His parents, Attilio and Clara Catalano, were Italian immigrants, and they raised him in a tight-knit, culturally rich environment. William's early life was marked by the same challenges faced by many children of immigrants during that era, but he was also imbued with a strong sense of family, heritage, and work ethic. As a young man, he was fascinated by both academics and the arts. After completing high school, Williams attended City College of New York, where he studied mathematics and physics, reflecting his intellectual curiosity and discipline. However, the allure of Hollywood eventually drew Williams away from his academic pursuits. His good looks and athletic build caught the attention of modeling scouts, leading to a successful career as a male model in the late 1940s and early 1950s. Williams graced the covers of several magazines and became a popular figure in advertising, but his aspirations went beyond modeling. His sights were set on the silver screen, and with determination and a bit of fortune, he leapt acting. Guy Williams's big break came in 1957 when Walt Disney cast him as the lead in the television series Zorro. The role of Zorro, a masked vigilante who defends the oppressed in Spanish California, perfectly matched Williams' natural charisma, fencing skills, and athleticism. The series was an instant hit, making Williams a household name. His portrayal of Zorro was marked by a perfect blend of charm, wit, and heroism capturing the essence of the character and endearing him to audiences of all ages. The black mask and cape, coupled with his skillful use of a rapier, became iconic, and William's Zorro was lauded as one of the most definitive portrayals of the character. The success of Zorro propelled Williams to stardom, and he quickly became one of television's most beloved actors. The series ran for two seasons and 78 episodes, from 1957 to 1959 and it was revived in syndication for many years afterward, ensuring that Williams's portrayal of Zorro would live on in the memories of viewers for generations to come. His work on Zorro also earned him the recognition of his peers, and he received accolades for his ability to bring the character to life with such vigor and authenticity. After Zorro, Guy Williams continued to enjoy success in television and film. In 1965, he was cast as Professor John Robinson in the science fiction series Lost in Space. This role further cemented his place in television history, as the show became a cult classic, beloved by fans for its imaginative storylines and futuristic setting. Williams' portrayal of the wise, calm, and heroic Professor Robinson provided a steady anchor for the series, and his on-screen chemistry with the rest of the cast helped make Lost in Space a memorable part of 1960s pop culture. The Lost in Space ran for only three seasons, from 1965 to 1968, its impact was significant, and it continued to enjoy popularity through reruns and home video releases for decades. Williams's work on the show allowed him to reach a new generation of fans, and he became a favorite at science fiction conventions and fan events, where he was always greeted with enthusiasm and admiration. After Lost in Space, Williams' career slowed down, and he chose to step away from the spotlight to focus on his personal life. He moved to Argentina, where he became a beloved figure, partly due to the popularity of Zorro in Latin America. In Argentina, he lived a quieter life, enjoying the culture and the people of his adopted country, and he remained a respected and admired figure both in the United States and abroad. However, behind the scenes, his life was marked by both triumph and misfortune. Guy Williams's personal life was marked by a deep love for his family and a strong connection to his Italian roots. He married Janice Cooper in 1948, 
and the couple had two children, Guy Stephen and Antoinette. After 35 years of marriage, they divorced in 1983. After years of a successful career in Hollywood, Williams decided to retire early and live a more peaceful life. He moved to Buenos Aires, Argentina, a place he had fallen in love with during his travels. The city's rich culture, coupled with the anonymity it offered him, provided the respite he sought after years in the limelight. In Argentina, he was celebrated as a local hero, particularly for his role as Zorro, a character that resonated deeply with the people. Williams enjoyed his time in Buenos Aires, where he lived quietly, away from the public eye, engaging in his hobbies like chess and astronomy. However, in 1989, tragedy struck. At the age of 65, Guy Williams was found dead in his apartment in Buenos Aires. The circumstances surrounding his death were as tragic as they were mysterious. He had been living alone, and his body was discovered several days after he had passed away. The cause of death was determined to be a brain aneurysm, a sudden and unexpected event that likely occurred while he was alone in his apartment. The delay in discovering his body added a layer of sadness to the event, as it highlighted his isolation in his final days. The news of his death sent shockwaves through the entertainment industry and among his fans, who remembered him not only for his roles on screen but also for his off-screen persona, a man of great kindness, intelligence, and humility. Despite the suddenness of his passing, Williams left behind a legacy that would continue to inspire and entertain future generations. The strange and tragic nature of Guy Williams' death only added to the mythos surrounding his life. Here was a man who had once been the face of American television, a hero to many, who chose to live out his days far from the glamour of Hollywood, only to meet an end that seemed almost too abrupt for someone so loved. His passing was a stark reminder of the often unseen and unpredictable nature of life, even for those who seem larger than life on the screen. In death, as in life, Guy Williams remained a figure of intrigue, his story a blend of triumph, mystery, and melancholy. His departure from the world, while tragic and untimely, has ensured that his memory endures, not just as a television icon, but as a man whose life, though ended too soon, was lived fully and with great impact. Guy Williams's influence on television and popular culture is undeniable. His portrayal of Zorro remains one of the most beloved interpretations of the character, and his work on Lost in Space helped shape the landscape of science fiction television. Williams's characters were more than just heroes on screen. They were symbols of integrity, courage, and the enduring appeal of good triumphing over evil. His legacy is one of positivity, as he used his talents to bring to life characters that continue to inspire and entertain audiences worldwide. In the years since his passing, Guy Williams has been honored and remembered through various tributes and retrospectives. His work in Zorro and Lost in Space has been celebrated in documentaries, fan conventions, and online forums, where fans continue to discuss and analyze his contributions to television history. His star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame stands as a testament to his impact on the entertainment industry, and his memory lives on in the hearts of those who admired his work. Moreover, Williams's life serves as an example of how an actor can leave a lasting legacy not only through their work but also through the way they live their life. He remained true to his values, choosing to focus on his family and personal happiness even as fame beckoned. This balance between professional success and personal contentment is part of what makes William's story so compelling and why he continues to be remembered with such fondness.